Primate Adele is a prophet that speaks in Nigeria um, regarding happenings, politics, um, to Buhari's government, even internationally, he prophesies them regarding happenings. We know although Nigerians have got mixed uh, feelings about his prophecies, some see him as a true prophet, some just feel that um, he analyzes um, political um, happenings and just predicts that based on the happenings, based on um, current um, events, he draws conclusion he just looks at things and he speaks that yes this is what's going to happen and that is what's going to happen but we've seen most times most of his prophecies have come to pass you know earlier on in the year he was being dragged that um, the prophecies about 2021 did not come to pass it looks like some persons were waiting for december to finally finish and immediately in the in the beginning of the year in 2022 they called out to him that um, he's a fake prophet that um, not all the prophecies he made concerning 2021 came to pass immediately uh, prime minister Adele reacted that the prophecies he made not all of them had have got um, time uh, not all of them were time bound some were time bound that they should go and check that the ones that have not been fulfilled yet those ones don't have a time frame but the ones he said were going to happen in 2021, they, they happened. Well, so uh, regardless of the way Nigerians perceive his prophecies, that still has not stopped him from speaking. He speaks a, about um, Buhari's bad government, even other governors in different states. He's been always speaking. He's someone that um, speaks a lot. Right now, he's just uh, learned his voice regarding the false scarcity. And he has issued a decree to President Mohamed Buhari. Buhari should resign and hand over to a capable person, Prime Minister Adele declares. Uh, he's someone that is very bold as well. We know he's very bold. He doesn't, he just says it the way it is. And uh, most times he's been one to go and concentrate on his ministry and leave politics alone. That's the sort of um, reaction that has followed his prophecies. And most times those... Um, uh, reactions are coming from politicians that he has spoken to, even presidency. You know, regarding uh, regarding the Anambra governorship election, Andy Uba, he sent a prophecy to Andy Uba that Andy Uba would not win, that he should not bother contesting, that the money he's planned for his campaigning activities, he should go and spend it on charity. <laughs> we know Andy Uba did not take it lightly. Andy Uba lashed out on him, called him fake prophet and all of that. But we know at the end of the day, Andy Uba still didn't win so we don't know if that was still prediction or it was actually um the word of prophecy that he released and uba wasn't going to win well regarding president muhammad buhari is stating right now that buhari needs to hand over we'll bring you all of the details in a moment but before we do guys please don't forget to give us a thumbs up click on the like button and if it's your first time you're very very welcome please hit the subscribe button god bless you now to the news the leader of INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elijah Ayodele, on Sunday called for the resignation of President Muhammad Buhari as the Minister of Petroleum. Primate Ayodele made the call in reaction to the ongoing force scarcity across the country. In a statement by his media aide, Primate Ayodele said, Buhari was not capable of handling the portfolio, especially at a critical period like this. He noted that the president should honorably resign from the position and hand over to someone who knows the nooks and crannies of Nigeria's petroleum system. According to Ayodele, President Buhari should resign as Minister of Petroleum and hand over to someone who is capable of managing this crisis. This is not a thing to joke with. The economy is biting hard already. We need someone capable. Buhari isn't capable to be the Minister of Petroleum. We need the right person who knows everything about petroleum system. Nigerians have been battling with false scarcity since February. The return of long queues at filling stations were linked to adulterated fuel that was circulated. However, the federal government had assured that normalcy would soon be restored across the country. Well, this message that Prime Minister Adele is sending to Buhari, Buhari has jetted out of the country. He's left the country. Medical checkup again. You know, that was one concern Nigerians uh, had when Bola Tinubu uh, declared his intentions. And the reaction was that we didn't want another... That the last thing that Nigerians want is another medical tourist 
president because in a situation where uh there are serious challenges Buhari doesn't care he just leaves it's not like he's going for uh urgent issues we're not saying his health is not urgent but if he has put the right facilities in place he can be able to do the checkup he needs in the country so he's not done the right thing he's jetting out of the country to go for checkup i can imagine how many uh, how other presidents how often they leave their country going about traveling out to go for checkup there is problem serious problem anyways guys uh, regarding this false scarcity prime minister Adele is stating that buhari is not capable he doesn't have the know-how he doesn't have the capacity so in that regard he's telling him to resign and hand over to someone else that knows about this and come to think about it uh he's sitting as um the one in charge we don't we have um the petroleum minister timmy pray silver but president Mohammed buhari is still in charge of this so he's been told that take your hands off it take your hands um off being um in charge of petroleum let someone capable handle it it was last week that um timmy pray silver released the statement that nigerians should not worry that the situation is under control now very soon normalcy will return there will be no more long queues it's so unfortunate that at a time like this where the country is facing different challenges right now different challenges insecurity is not out of the way still there. the economy is still down hardship unemployment uh a lot of uh um, issues that the country is facing agitations there on one side now adding false scarcity this false scarcity is causing a lot of pain it is hindering a lot of activities and uh, making life very difficult. Life is already difficult. Now making it more difficult because we can imagine the way the, the hike in price, even the, the filling stations where you can get it, the place you can even find it, then the amount is being sold for. So that is enough um, um, trouble. In the midst of all of this, Buhari is so calm. He's left the country. I'm going away for two weeks. Can you imagine? That is the sort of leader that we have. That in the midst of crisis, he can just move away. You know, one thing Nigerians have always said about this man that um, he's, he doesn't really have touch. He's, he doesn't have connection with the people. No sympathy. I mean, the best time to travel is when you know that um, everything is in place, everything is in order. We know, although he said that I've handed over to Usibanjo, Usibanjo should take charge. But that doesn't stop the challenge. The challenge is still there. For him to have that confidence, that peace, that in the midst of um, this sort of crisis, he's leaving the country. It's possible that's why Prime Minister Adele is telling him to resign. Resign and hand over to a capable hand. We'll see if presidency is going to react to this. They normally react um, to Prime Minister Adele's uh, um, charge. Leave us your take, guys. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So, like, come your way again with more updates. Bye.